Now, although we have seen some rain in our region, our lakes and rivers aren't filling up like we'd perhaps hoped for heading into spring. News for San Antonio meteorologist Joe DiCarlo takes a look at the latest lake levels. It's been nice to see more rain this year. We're running about three inches above normal in San Antonio on rainfall just this year. However, we haven't gotten that substantial, steady and widespread rain over our recharge zones that we need in order to fill up our rivers and lakes. Let's take a look at river flows on the Guadalupe and Medina rivers. These flows have risen a little bit from last year when many instances there were no flow at all. However, it's not enough to increase those lakes. Today's data shows lakes continuing to struggle. Canyon Lake, the most filled lake in our region at only 58% full. Medina Lake, only 2.7% full and the levels continue to drop until we get a substantial soaking. The outlook will be more of the same and this is impacting our upcoming summer fun. Officials with Jacobs Well and Hayes County told me that swimming is prohibited until further notice due to low water levels. We've been getting a little bit of rain this year and every time it brings that flow up and then the flow falls right back down. We have not quite gotten enough to keep it continuous and flowing constantly. The Hayes County Parks Department will reevaluate each month to see if water levels come up to a safe level for swimming, but they want to stress there are other areas in the county, such as Blue Hole Regional Park, that do have water and open for swimming this week. Luckily for them, they have a lot more water. There are some minor springs below us that are still contributing water to Cypress Creek. Um, so they're actually looking pretty good. Jacobs Well is at a higher elevation and takes more rainfall to increase flow. Reporting in San Antonio, meteorologist Joe DiCarlo, News 4 San Antonio.